I have spent 100 hours watching videos on procedural generation and I still don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna do it from scratch. I mean, procedural generation is just randomly placing things, right? Wrong. Procedural generation actually uses algorithms or procedures to generate content systematically, often following a set of rules or list of instructions. So it's random generation with rules? I mean, that could be one way of putting it. Hmm, I think I could do that then. I'm using Unity as my game engine and I just want to put a disclaimer out there that this project is mostly about the results and process and by no means is my code even good or clean. First, I had to come up with a plan. I wanted to keep things simple but also challenging enough so I settled on generating a small island. So step one, this would be the sand. I wanted to create a handful of prefabs of different shape terrain and only one of them would be picked. I then wanted to alter the scale and rotation between some random values and it would always spawn at the origin. Step two would be the grass. This would be a similar thing but I would want two or three terrain objects to spawn but these can spawn anywhere between a set range which means they cannot overlap. Step three would be the forest trees and these would only be able to spawn on grass. And my aim is gonna be to try and spawn them near the edge of the terrain. Step four would be the same but for tropical trees and these would only spawn on the sand. And I aim to make them more central cause I feel like jungly trees are more central and you have the sand banks around the edges. Step five would be some rock. I just wanted to create more interest and I wanted some rocky boulders to spawn in the water only. And lastly, of course, a UI button that you can smash to generate your dream island. I decided to go for a low poly style because this is really easy to find on the Unity Asset Store for free. And you can mix and match, but because they're all low poly, it kind of goes together. So once I downloaded some of those, I started on my prefabs and then created a new script. Now, I've never ever done procedural generation before, but the only small little tiny thing that might help me is the random egg generation that I used for the Stardew egg hunt clone game that I recently made. So I knew how to find random positions and also check for colliders, but the checking for colliders definitely gets more complicated when you get into 3D space. The sand generation was very simple as I was only spawning one prefab, so I pretty much just wrote instantiate and it worked. I just attached my script to a ugly generate button and voila, a sand island. Anyway, for the grass islands I did a similar thing and I checked for colliders using physics.overlapbox and this should work now. Honestly, this took me way longer to work out than I'd like to admit, but we got that in the end. Next, I had to tackle the trees. I kept the forest trees separate from the jungle trees because I wanted them to spawn on different terrain types and also slightly different behaviors. Initially, I wanted to use a heat map to affect the behavior of the spawning of the trees, but I didn't know how to do it and then I just gave up. So instead I just left the forest trees completely randomized on the grass terrain and for the jungle ones I pulled them towards the center of the sand where possible if there was no collisions. Honestly I sat here for literally 10 hours trying to understand why my trees were spawning on the sand and everywhere and it was down to this one operator in my wild statement and I was so angry but also relieved that it wasn't my code it was just a stupid two lines. So now although the code all needed fixing I wanted to do some fun stuff so I added this subtle water shader which foamed around the edges of the terrain and I wanted to add some cute details so I added in these houses and even made a little smoke particle effect to go in the chimney of one of the houses. Then I angled the scene because I always think it looks cute when there's a scene on a little cube thing in the middle. And I wanted to create a little bit more atmosphere so you can see that I have a skybox already but I wanted to add some moving clouds so I created yet another particle effect. I improved the look of the UI and added a little bit of post-processing but now it's time for the final reveal.
feeling okay about it. I think I would have done things a lot differently looking back, but for a few days of working on this, I think it does a decent job of generating random islands. I have published it on itch.io if you want to have a go at generating your dream island, but just don't look too closely, okay? And of course, please let me know what you think about it, what you would improve, and any thoughts about the project. But before you go, don't miss my video on the Stardew Valley clone game that I made because that goes into a bit more detail about the random positions and also the physics overlap function. But other than that, I'll see you next time.